I had filmed two little, well, one was a quick meal and one was some super fun cookies. And I had never shared those and found them. And so I thought I would do that. Um, I've been running a little bit behind on this on any channel but I've been running a little bit behind on videos just I've not been all there so to speak so um, I did want to put something out for you guys um, plus you know maybe somebody will be interested in these anyways especially the cookies but the rib sandwiches was a hit with the people that enjoyed them anyways um, which was John, Nolan, Wendy, and Jonathan so I did want to share them. They're super simple. They'd be even more simple if you just went and bought like hoagie rolls or whatever. But I wanted to do homemade woods. So that's what we're going to do. I've yawned like four times already and just got started doing this. Which made me remember I've not had coffee today. I might need to grab me some of that. Um, but I did want to just share these with you and maybe share a little bit of my heart. I've had a lot of stuff on my mind lately. Um, and... I don't like to, you know, I don't want to come off as a, what they say, a Debbie Downer, which that's kind of rude to Debbies, you know, but I don't want to come off as just somebody that is down and just like negative all the time. That is not the kind of person I am, and I try to avoid that, and I definitely don't want to be um, putting weight onto other people's shoulders. I am a big carrier of other people's feelings, and so I... I'm very in tune with that, you know, people can pick up what what you're putting out. So I don't want to ever put out any kind of negativity or depression or sadness or anxiety for other people to pick up along the way, if that makes sense. But I'm also, I'm also a big believer in being real and sharing real life and, um, you know, not always just being 100% because nobody is ever just 100%. And I think... You know, I get that certain YouTubers or whatever, you know, a lot of YouTubers, they don't want to share the down times and they don't want to share, you know, just darkness. And I get that because sometimes YouTube needs to, or anywhere, you know, you need a safe place to where um, you know what you're getting and you know that you're getting positivity and you're not going to be, you know, finding sadness or anger or, um, you know, whatever, because the world is full of all kinds of things. And you can find, you know, every emotion, every, everything is on the internet. We can say it that way. So I don't want to, you know, I want to be a safe place, a place where people can come and relax and feel calm and happy and all of that. But I also want my platform to be a place where people know they can come and see a real person that suffers with, you know, real life things and, um, real issues and not always happy and stuff isn't always working out for me and all of that because I'm not that kind of person and I don't want to ever come off as that kind of person and I'm not um, I try not to come off as that person and I know often people tell me that I come off as very real and so I think that coming off as real means you know I show all sides to a point obviously I don't come on here and tell my life story and I don't come on here and share, you know, everything. And most of the time the details are, you know, they're not put out there for the whole world. Because I do know that this is the internet. But, yeah, I have not been 100%. I would even go as far as saying I've been more like 40% mentally. Um, and when I get in those head spaces, a thing for me is... The quieter I am on the outside, and that means especially with social media, because if in person, if I don't know you really, really good, I'm quiet anyways. But on social media, I've noticed um, that the quieter I get on there, it's the louder that my head is. Because oftentimes, um, when I'm in those phases and stages, whatever's going on in my head, it kind of takes over everything. And... I know that's part of the problem is I allow it. And sometimes I can't control it. Sometimes I can, but I allow it to take control. And then it just, it has to run its course, I guess. Um, and we've been in one of those seasons for the last little bit. Um, I think I'm slowly coming out of it, but 
we'll see. We're going to fight through it. We always do. And I know firsthand, I tell this to everybody, and I even tell it to myself, that, you know, it's a season. You come out on the other side, and when you come out of the clouds, it makes the sun shine even brighter. And that's a metaphor, but it's also the truth. Um, you know, light shines brighter through darkness. If you're in complete darkness and then somebody turns on a light, it just seems so much brighter. And that is how it is for me mentally whenever I start having, um, some issues and whatnot. And I don't really like to label it because, you know, some people get very offended and defensive about labels and whatnot. So I don't really like to label it. So I just call it a darkness or a cloud. Um, and we've been dealing with some clouds over here. Let me make me some coffee. Also, I'll throw the recipe for these down below because obviously I'm not talking you through it. This is more of a, a therapy session for me with my friends. Which actually for this, all I did was my normal bread recipe um, and put it into the little whatever this thing is called, the bun maker. I'm not a fan of the bun maker. I would have rather just laid them out. I don't like the shape that they came out. I'm just... I'm too, I've worried too much about stuff like that. They look like little bread loaves, and that is fine, but I just didn't like the shape of them. So, next time I make hoagie rolls or any kind of rolls like this, I won't be using this. But, what was we saying? Yeah, mentally, I've just not, I've not been there. Um, well, I've been there. I've been someplace, but I've not been where I usually like to be. Um, and, for me, I can, I can sometimes usually see it coming if that makes sense like I was I've been talking to a couple of friends um who have been having well one of them's been having some issues as well and then the other one she just relates and she gets it so um there's very few people that I actually openly talk about because you know I try to hide it not try to hide it because like I said I try to be real but if I came on here every time that I was feeling a little down or you know things wasn't going my way I would definitely have one of the channels that nobody wanted to watch because yeah so um I don't you know full-blown go into it and I still don't full-blown go into it because like I said I know how it is to carry other people's emotions and I know that some of my friends here on YouTube you all will carry my emotions, and I'm not for that. Um, I want people to come here to be relaxed and happy and, you know, just know that you're going to leave feeling good. So, I keep a lot of that to myself, and one of my friends even mentioned, um, I guess maybe I went into more detail than I typically had before about stuff, and she said that from the outside looking in, she would have never guessed that I dealt with the things that I do. And that's because, like I said, I don't try to hide them, but I also don't want to, you know, deflect my feelings onto other people. So, I do, you know, to a point, try to keep it to myself. Um, but lately, it's been really hard, and that's why I've not been around much. I, I just, it got, it had got better. The Christmas stuff had got better, you know, after everything had passed a passed on with Christmas and the baby shower and all that overwhelm, I kind of deflated and then I was good and then I just kind of hit again. I do think it has a lot to do with the weather. Um, it's so crazy here in Kentucky. It will feel amazing one day. The next day it's raining. The next day it's snowing. And this is literally the weather the last three days. So, um, you just never know. And I think it's really messing with me because my head is in one place and the literal season is in another. So, it's just everything at once you know and then you throw in the mix of being a woman and we I guess just things wasn't bad enough for us so we had to have hormones um so anyways it's been a rough go for me but I'm, I'm slowly coming out of it I think talking to my friends that I do f confide in has helped um and trying to help one of my friends through some stuff has helped too Yesterday, I've been listening to a lot of sermons. I love to listen to sermons, but especially when I get into this headspace, I know that if I feed it, it will grow. So instead of feeding it, I try to starve it out. And by starving out these emotions and feelings, I will study my Bible more, listen to more praise music, um, listen to more sermons. And so I've been listening to more sermons lately. And yesterday... I actually was filming, but it's not for this video. 
Um, yesterday I was filming and planning on doing a voiceover for that part because I just was not mentally, I wasn't there. I just, I wasn't feeling good. And I was listening to one of the sermons and the preacher said, Spirit of worship will eradicate and kill and destroy the enemies that are on the inside that are keeping you from going to the next level. Because when you're letting those enemies live on the inside of you, you have become your own worst enemy. And y'all, when he said that, my mind remembered all the times that I have told friends, especially I know for sure one friend that I remind this all the time when she's having a bad time, that it helps to go around, you know, if you're, if you can go around your house, just thanking God for the things out loud that he has given you and thanking him for the life that you have. I was busy in the kitchen and so I couldn't go around, you know, just walk around the house, looking around and thanking God for everything that I have. Now you don't have to have a lot to do this. I'm not saying that it's because of my house or whatever, but you know, it's little things that will remind you of that what you I guess, aren't seeing clearly, for lack of better words. You'll see your kid's shoes, and, you know, you'll be thinking of, thank God for my kid, or you'll see your dog or, you know, your baby's shirt. I don't know, just things like that, and it seems to help. Um, and no matter how big or small a house is a house, you have a shelter, you should be thankful for that. So that hit me like a ton of bricks when he said that, and then I thought of the, all the times I tell her, um, you know, go around thanking God out loud for the things that he has given you, not for the, the, the sadness that's inside of you, the depression, the anxiety, don't worry about that stuff. Just be thankful for what you have. So right in the middle of me making whatever I was making in the kitchen, I just started praying and thanking God for the things that that he has given me and the things that I have, because it's not that I lack anything, um, but, you know, you can, when you get in those spaces, when I get in those spaces, everything, everything is a burden. And I hate that it's like that, but it is it is what it is, and I'm just telling the truth. Um, so, you know, going around and, or just standing there and being thankful and praying and praising God for the things that I have, it done something. Y'all, it really helped. Um, you know, sometimes it's best to take your own advice. And I'm so glad that I did. Um, so it really helps me to be able to do that, to just stop and, you know, even if I didn't feel thankful and grateful in the moment because of whatever reasons that I've been having, the mental load that I have, um, you know, no matter how big the mental load is or how dark things can get or how sad it is at that moment, it doesn't change it doesn't change that God is still good and that in the end, as long as we have the faith, it's going to work out. Um, and, you know, it's our job to give it to God and let it go. That's a big thing for me is I don't give it to God and let it go. I let get God in on it, but then I still feel like I have to carry it. And that was another thing from the sermon yesterday, which the sermon was from months ago. Um, I had listened to CT's latest three sermons lately so maybe that's why I recommended it but I don't believe in coincidences um it was a sermon from October and I'll try to remember to link it down below and one of the other things that he said in it is it's either your battle or the Lord's it can't be both and that is something that I really struggle with um I'm a worrier by nature and so it's really hard for me just to hand over things even to God you know the one person that I know can fix everything and can and will fix things as you know as he sees fit as he sees fit to his will but I just can't and I know that worrying it does worrying about it doesn't help that once God has it you know even if I don't give it to him he's got it um but just handing it to him and walking away I'm not I can't I can't really do it fully I wish that I was better about it but I just I'm a control person, um, and, you know, it technically makes no sense thinking that just if I give it to God, but then I sit and worry about it, that that is any control over it, because it's technically not control over it. Me worrying about it just adds another layer to it, but it's just something that I really deal with, and we're trying to, we're trying to do better, okay? If you're trying to do better, you're at least 
getting somewhere. So, yeah, we've been dealing with some stuff over here, and I've just been rambling for the last 15 minutes. So, hopefully, this will help me get out of it, and hopefully, maybe it was a message needed for somebody that's going to be watching this. But, you know, no matter the struggles, it doesn't change the fact that that God is good and that the struggles pass and these little things that we go through and sometimes the big things that we go through they're just part of a bigger picture that plays out for the better so we just got to power through them and you know the sunshine is coming again that's what I like to tell myself and my friends that go through these things is it doesn't matter how much it's raining it doesn't matter you know how cloudy it is the sun always shines again the feelings pass and well spring's right around the corner so hopefully hopefully we're close to the end of it and I can get back to feeling like myself I hate feeling like a stranger in my own body and that is what I've been lately um and it always gets worse before it gets better I mean isn't that just life in general it just gets heavier and heavier and heavier until it crushes me and then once it knocks me down you know I'll lay there for a little bit but then I get back up and we just go on with life typically we go on with life even more and more belly crawling but you know that's just part of it especially when you have a house to run a family to take care of you don't get to wallow and wallowing doesn't help anyways but yeah, we're slowly coming out of it. I've been missing you guys. I'm sorry that I've been less than lately. It seems like this month I've been less than because, well, my my YouTube revenue and, you know, just YouTube stats have let me know that I've been slacking this month. So, hopefully we can get back with it next month. It seems like whenever I come into the new year with the bigger the plans, the harder the fall for me. So, we need to just try to not come into the new year with any expectations, but you know that this is going to be a good year for us. Um, it is going to be a good year for us. We are professing that. We're claiming it. We're we're praying that. Um, so it's going to be a good year for you, for us. So I expected that this was going to be a good start, but maybe maybe we got to go through the shadows first. <laughs> the sunshine is coming, um, and the sunshine will be here very soon. Because I just pictured Violet when I said that. Um, won't be long. Less than seven weeks now. So we got plenty to be thankful for. And we are. Even in the dark times we are thankful. But sometimes we struggle and we're human. And that's okay too. And there's nothing wrong with being in the struggle. There's, you know, you don't have to be ashamed of it. Almost everybody does it. And I think people that say they don't. Well, maybe they're fibbing just a little. But Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us and just listening to me rant and cook a little bit. I will put the recipes down below just because obviously I didn't talk anything about the cookies or the the bread. So we'll see you all next time. I'll be praying for you. Pray for me if you are into that, if you're a spiritual person. We'll see you all next time. Love y'all. As always, remember to show grace, be content, and live blessed. Bye, friends.